Welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to talk about Alpas devices. And at first I want to say a big sorry to everyone because I didn't make a video in one or two weeks. I don't know exactly, but I needed to reset my uh, mindset or um, yeah, get some refreshed uh, ideas, refreshed inspiration. But now I'm back doing some videos again. And the first video um, I want to start today with is the Alpas module, as you can see here this one in the middle um, and I hooked up some oscilloscope at the input and the output of the Alpas device to show you what's going on and um, the Alpas device is exactly doing that what the name says it passes through all frequencies from the input to the output and that's nothing special so um, you have some delay settings here and a gain knob with an percentage um, unit which is strange and many people are confused with this module because it's below the delay uh, section here but it sounds like a filter right you, you know the low pass and the high pass where you can yeah, cut, the, cut the low end but um, this one here is below delay and not below filter so um, what's going on with this module and um, if you have everything at zero here and we input some sound, nothing is happening. We just have the input signal and the output signal matched. So it's the same signal, no delay, no change in tone or something else. When you introduce some delay settings here or longer delay times, you just have a delay. So the output signal is delayed to a certain amount of time we have here 500 milliseconds um, and you can see exactly that. Okay, so also nothing special. Uh, now you can introduce here some gain with the percentage and when we go to 100% and input signal with the same delay you can see it's uh, disabled or grayed out here when you go to 100%. We also have no delay and no change in tonality. But when you go with the gain setting in between in the middle here, it sounds like a delay with a feedback. So now we have uh, a feedback or the, just a regular uh, mod delay setup basically. But when you go here to very short amount of delay times, you can hear some kind of metallic sound. Sometimes you, sometimes it sounds like uh, some frequencies are filtered out. So you can use this Alpas device to delay signals, you can use it to filter out a certain amount of frequencies, uh, in fact you um, can introduce some phase issues, some diffusion, you can introduce some ringing sounds with the right amount of values. So it's a pretty handy device which where you can all kinds of can create all kinds of sounds with it and it's heavily used inside of reverb uh, plugins or when you want to create reverb grids then you need a lot of all pass devices um, in all kinds of different setups um, to create kind of uh, yeah in space in virtual space uh, to have a reverb sound and I read or try to recreate this Alpas device with some, uh, some um, crit modules here. So this is how I, I imagine the 
our pass module looks like in, on the inside. So you have the input signal going into a blend and this blend is mixing the output signal of the delay with the input signal. And then you have at the end here also a blend which mixes again the output of the, lo uh, of the long delay in the try input signal. And I hooked up here an, yeah, a modulator so we can change with one knob these two blend knobs here, okay? Pretty easy. And we have this delay setting here. So now I have everything at zero and nothing happens. So we have the same input and output signal. But I can introduce some delay here. One second. You can see exactly that we have just our signal delayed to a certain amount of time. One second. And we can now introduce the feedback. So we have some kind of delay and yeah, you can go higher here with the value and choose shorter delay times to introduce this typical ringing sound. So this is how I imagine the um, the Alpas device looks on the inside, and I think you can also hook up here one spectro spectrum uh, analyzer to the output. You can see how the frequency are changing. As you can see, you can create some odd harmonics. And there is an, a math algorithm that you can apply on how many milliseconds you need to hit exactly the right frequencies to be filtered out or to have this kind of ringing frequency going on. And But you don't need to actually apply this math because um, you can use a different device for this. And this is called um, the comp filter, which is also in delay. Um, can you, you have the same ringing sound? A little bit different, but the um, yeah the overall uh, method is the same. You have an, an feedback loop or a delay, and if you um, yeah layer the same signal on top of each other with some kind of different delay times, you get uh, phase issues. You cancel certain frequencies out, and um, you have some kind of filter, and yeah. Or ring modulator or something like this so um, it's it's basically a mixture of everything so the all pass device is a delay it's a filter and um, you can use it to diffuse sounds to create reverbs and in fact if you go to the Valhalla DSP block um, there you can read a lot of uh, reverb algorithms and they are basically, as I understand it, two types of reverbs. The artificial reverbs that just try to create some space and some, yeah, some cool sounding um, reverb sounds. And then are the, yeah, simulations. And they try to uh, simulate real room with all the real physical effects of a reverb. And the first part um, or the first first type of reverbs that just try to create some um, virtual uh, space 
are all based on all pass devices in all kinds of different setups. And you can read a lot of these uh, blog posts here if you're interested in, the, in this. You can see here also some um, patches or some uh, graphs where you can look at how some of the reverbs are set up. Um, but in fact, um, the general, general direction is that you have a lot of these all pass devices in all kinds of setups, sometimes here in parallel. Um, sometimes uh, in sequential order like this and um, he also talks about this ringing sound where you have always this metallic sound in your reverbs and how you can circumvent this and in fact when I created some of the reverbs uh, here for the grid I think it's the kitsch verb um, I have some R pass devices here and all these delay times are modulated randomly with a random modulator or with an LFO, I don't know exactly, um, um, to a certain amount of small values. So just to change it enough that the ringing or metallic sound goes away. And as you can hear, it works. So this is basically just one example how you can build a reverb inside uh, the grid from Bitwig Studio. And I also explained how the Alpass device is working or what you can do with it. Um, if you want to take uh, or dive in more or need more information about this, I heavily um, I highly recommend this blog here from Valhalla DSP. There are a lot of information on there. And yeah, I want to close down this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.